hello everyone let us revise the module one of software application laboratory to start with that one you have to open the software application that is tad pro you double click on this one so you will get to see this window so here on the left side you can see the project tasks there is new project so next to open project open from project wise configuration backup manager and license management so to start with any new projects you can click here if you have saved any project you can click on this one and you can open so if you are having there are many projects of projects so you can save for the project wise like in this one next configuration click on configuration you can choose the the units you can set here so here you are having two units one is english and one is metric english unit is fps foot pound unit and metric is si unit so always you choose the metric and click on sorry apply and then accept configuration you to choose apply and then accept so here also you are having the tab menu file and help so in the file also you can click on new or else you can directly click, click here so if you want see here the file new is there open the archived files project wise create archive extract archive like this there are sub options are there and help in help contents are there online tutorials you can study and technical support if you need anything all things you will get here contents is nothing but it is a library of the application software application library stack pro you can search for uh, any details here so you will get all the details so you can get here getting started and tutorials also here so how to start with the tutorial so some examples are there here so this is steel bottle frame this is rc frame this is two way concrete slab so here some couple examples are there so you can go through this one so so you click on file and you click on new so you can see here there are four options are there one is space one is plane one is floor one is truss space is nothing but it is a 3d so if you take a box so here whatever the image you are saying for this box you are seeing the 3d view that is all planes you are seeing so this box consists of how many planes totally six planes four these planes this plane this plane this plane four walls and one top plane and one is bottom plane totally six planes are there so this is the problems for the space whenever you go for the real design of any building you are dealing with the space only so next comes plane plane is nothing but only it is a if i take only the problem related only to one plane that is beam if you take the beam the the beam you are assuming the single plane even the truss also you are assuming plane because whatever the the length and the depth of the beam is there it is much more bigger than the width of the beam for that case we are assuming the problem of beams in a plane even the truss problems also all will come in a plane because truss also it consists it's having the length and the height of the truss is much more larger than the thickness of the 
dress. So next is floor problem. If you do, if you are designing your uh, floor, so you can directly click on this one. Next, if you are solving the problem on trust, you can directly click on your your predefined templates are there. So you can go through that one. So now in your module one, you are having the first is analysis of continuous beam. So first two uh, beams, you are always taking you are solving the inner plane so you choose you click on plane next you can give any name file name you can give example number one or any name if you want or else you can give the continuous anything continuous beam one like this next you can give the location where the file should be stored so if you have created a folder on the desktop you can so first let us create a folder on the desktop so whatever the files i examples i do all will get stored here right click here on the desktop new and here folder so you'll get this folder so you can rename this one by clicking right click and rename here and you can use tad examples okay so now you click new project or else try from here choose plane you give continuous beam one and you give the location so you click on here you go to desktop desktop Mm. stat examples choose this folder and here you see the unit should be in this one is meter and this should be in kilonewton then you click on next next here add beam is there you click on finish so you will get to see this window this is the window where you are drawing the structure okay so here are some menu bars are there file menu bar edit view tools select geometry commands analyze mode window and help these are the menu bars these are all the toolbars these are all the toolbars if you want to know the toolbar these are you can drag this one and you can keep here so you can see here the tab this toolbar name is selection tab even if you drag and if you want to keep here so if you want to know all these two bar names so you click on view here toolbars so here all these toolbars are clicked here so if you remove one thing you will see the change in the the toolbar here that window so here one is hiding so which was which uh, tool where it is file next project wise here where it is this one is a project wise so you can add project wise server you can get to know this one next print so directly you can give the print here next is structure this toolbar is a structure toolbar next is this is view toolbar you can zoom zoom out you can do all the things here Next, this one is rotate toolbar okay next this one is mode toolbar next, this is selection toolbar and this is geometry toolbar next this is generate toolbar next this is structure tools next this is result tools next this is labels Next, this is steel design. Next, these are some which you can't see here. All are there. So you see these all should be clicked. Tick. Okay. 
then you click on okay so in the file you can again you can create a new one we're having sub toolbars here so you have options open close project wise view so print to save you can save save you can use on the keyboard directly control plus s if you do it will automatically save next in edit you can take picture of the whatever the image structure you have framed here next you can copy the picture next in view you are having zoom option all are there here all are there here only there is no need to go again and again here for these options okay next geometry nodes all toolbars are here only so let me explain this one this is new structure if you want this is open this is close structure this is save this is editor whatever the if you uh, details you want to change the property of the structure you can change here that is angst model or poisson's ratio anything what are the so this is the print option this is print view report how the report will be printed and then this is report setup this is picture take picture so this is table so you will get here this is units if you click here again you can see the units this is meter and kilometer okay next this is change graphical display unit and this is cut section symbols and labels like this if you keep your cursor on this one it will show what are these this one is dimension to see what the dimension length display node like this is scale okay you can change the scale of the structure these are the support property page support page specification page load page this is modeling whatever you are seeing here here yeah, you can't see the window so next is piping like this there are two bars are there this is so this is the grid is there so this is the front view whatever you are seeing earlier i had drawn i had drawn the box so this is the box so here yellow shaded is the view which you are seeing this one this is the view of yellow mark so this is see the grid icon will change this is the back view view from the back side this is the side view the from this side and this is the another side view this is top view this is bottom view this is the 3d view all are shaded with yellow this is rotate up this is rotate down this is rotate left rotate right spin left spin right like this so this is display whole structure this is you have to you can zoom here dynamic zoom zoom extends zoom in zoom out zoom factor you can give the factor how, how much the zoom is test to take this this is zoom window this is a pan you can if you click on this one you can move the window and this is the magnifying glass you can zoom and you can see by clicking this one magnifying glass this is 3d rendered view so if you want to see the line diagram as a structural diagram you can click on here so next this one is if you want to add beams this is the cursor say for the four node plates when you when you will get to you know when you solve more and more problems you will get to know with the tools all these tools which are you, you are using so see uh, the window has gone now if you click on this snap node you will get this window this is the grid okay now this is in 3d view you can see the it is inclined it is 3d view this is the view if you click on this one we are seeing the front view so now the grid is 10 by 10 grid here 10 grid is 10 coordinates are there here 10 coordinates are there it is 10 by 10 grid so you can change the this grid size by clicking on edit here so see here x total number of grids are 0 to 10 and the spacing is 1 meter from this to this it is 1 from this to this it is 1 total it is 10 meter 
So as it is one meter each, so it is total here 10 meter. Similarly, y, y axis, zero to 10. So you can change the, increase the or decrease the grid size. Okay, when you can change the spacing between the grid lines. So if I change this one to two, that's so here. Total number of grids are 10 and the spacing between two grid lines is two meter, zero to two, four, six, eight, ten. Total 10 grids are there. Total 10 grids and spacing is two meter. Similarly, you can change this one also. You can give anything if you want one point per so yeah, spacing building is 1.53 like this. Click on OK. Similarly, this is the plane, XY plane. So see here, if I put to 3D view, we can see the coordinate, global coordinate axis. This is X axis, this is Y axis, and this is towards the Z, Z axis. You can't see the Z axis. If I click this one, see here, this is your x axis, this is y axis, and z axis is towards you, which you can't see. Okay, in the three in the three three D frame structure, you can see the z axis also. But for now, as we are solving the problems on beams, you are you can't see the z axis. Only we are solving the problems on on plane. So as I draw on this one, this is the plane on which we are solving. The dex as you can't see. So this is a box. So we are not taking this z axis. Z axis means the other dimension. Only we are taking this plane that is x axis and y axis. So here you can see all the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. This is x, this is y, and this is z. This is y, x's, and this is x, x's. And this is z axis. So you are solving, so you are unable to see the z axis. So So this is the front view. So how to start? So see here. So let us take the first example, this one. A continuous beam ABC consists of spans. AB is equal to three meter and BC is equal to four meter. The ends A and C are fixed. This one and this one. AB and BC carry uniformly distributed loads of intensity. This one is four meter. 4 kilonewton per meter and this one is 5 kilonewton per meter respectively. Find the support moments. So this will carry moment, this will carry moment, and this is carrying negative moment. Find the support moments at all the points and draw the bending moment diagram for the beam. The beam is of uniform section throughout. So in front of this question, only bending moment is there and you write down shear force diagram also. So this is the problem. So this is the bending moment diagram already is there. So we have to get all these answers. So what is the span length total? This is three plus four, total it is seven. So there are two beams are there. So you should see the cursor X mark. So you click on zero first. Next you click see here. this is the line. So you click on three. Next is three plus four is seven. Next you click on close. So you can see a line now. So see this one is beam 
one this is beam two so if you want to see the beam numbers you can click shift b on the keyboard see here this is beam one this is beam two so if you want to remove that one again shift b so here totally how many nodes are there here wherever the joints are there there are the nodes so this is the node one this is a node where her one node is there b here one node is there so here see how shift n click on shift n so you can see the nodes this is node one node two node three okay so now it is just a line it is not having any property property is nothing but if you are analyzing the beam means beam is of rectangle shape so you have to assign the property for that one okay here you click on general so you can see the properties whole structure whatever the structure is there you can frame the property for whole structure here only so here you can define the property define always the beam will be rectangle so this is yd is nothing but the depth of the beam the d is the width of the beam so you give any assumption 0.4 by some 0.35 so the material is concrete the beam is of concrete 0.4 by 0.3 next you click on add so you can see the beam has been created that is a rectangle a rectangle of size 0.4 by 0.35 material is concrete now you assign this one to these two lines if you assign this one it will become a beam so here use cursor to assign is there already so you click on assign now you can see the change in the cursor icon so you click on this one if you take this one and you click on this one now you can see this one r1 that is reference number one and what is the reference number one rectangle 0.4 by 0.35 okay now i have assigned the rectangle beam now you click on close okay if you want to see the whether it has assigned or not you click on this one so you can see this one it is a 3d rendered so it has assigned the property so it is so control if you want to zoom means you hold control on the keyboard and rotate the cursor in the our mouse so see here you can see the but depth and width both are assigned here so you click on close this is the 3d render view to see the property whether that is assigned or not so now you have assigned the property now this one has become rcc beam so next what is here supports are there here fixed and here it is simple support is there so next you click in general only here support is there click on support next you create the support pin is fixed fixed got next you want pinned click on pinned next click on add okay next this is fixed symbol so you click in click here use cursor to assign click on assign you can see the change in the icon so for every some few minutes it will ask the save automatic save you click on save okay so where i have to assign this one at node 1 and at node 3 now it has become a now i have at a and c i have it as fixed next i want pinned so you click on this one already use cursor assign is there assigning is there this one you directly take this one and click on node 2 next is click close now i assigned the supports next i have to assign the load for this one and load here 4 kilonewton per meter is there here 5 kilonewton per meter is there so here next is in the here only loads and definitions is there you click on load case details next click on add give the load case name you keep as it is or else you can name my load or anything whatever the name you want you can give click on add close next you click on this one load case one next click on add you will get to see this window okay so these are all member load 
So if you I want to show here, here, this is or else I will show here only if the load act assume so these are all nodes a b c are the nodes if assume if a load is acting here of 20 kilo newton so this is a nodal load because it is exactly acting on the node and this is the member that is rc member so this four kilogram per meter it is acting over a member so you can call this one as so you can call this one as this one so this is your nodal load and this is your member load this one and this one because it is acting over the member load and this is nodal load because it is exactly acting on the node okay Similarly, if you are having any other load on this one, this is also a nodal load. These two are nodal loads and this is the member load. Now you are having the member load 4 kilogram and 5 kilogram per meter. So you click on member load, which load it is. So you see here, this is UDL symbol. It is like, this is uniform force. Okay. What is the uniform load you are having? One is four, one is five. So in the elements of civil engineering you have studied, load act to going downwards. So this load is acting downward. So we are assuming it has negative. I think you know the sign convention. Loads going up positive, load going down. This is positive, load going down, it is negative. It is along the gravity, it is going against the gravity. So it is negative. Whatever the loads and any structure, always it is negative only because it is acting downward. So here it is first is minus four. So here this is the D1 at what distance it has to start, and this is the D2 on which overall the length the load should act. So here the load is starting from the starting point only. So D1 is not there. So this is not there. This, this is zero only. And D2. Here the beam, the load is this load is acting over this whole length. So D2 is also zero. Or else you can give D2 as total length is three meter. You can give three meter or else you can you can give this one as zero only and the direction of the load always the load acts along the y-axis that is against the gravity sorry along the gravity opposite to this y-axis so that is global y only so next you click on add so one load is been assigned here you can see uniformly distributed load global y minus four next is minus five minus five is also it, it is starting from this node and ending to this node you can give minus five this is zero zero global y-axis click on add close next here it is question mark still it is not assigned you take this one click on this one next use cursor to assign is there you click on assign see the here the icon has been changed the you click on this one it is assigned now so this one is assigned Next, you take click on this one. Already assigning is there, so you directly go and click on this one now. Now, next, click on close. So now you are unable to see that loads. 
so you click here again the it will reappear so you are unable to see the load values here okay and so to view the load value you click on right on this window right click labels load value okay so you can see here this is 4 kilonewton per meter up to here this is 5 kilonewton per meter up to here okay after this what is the next mm, that's it next you can analyze always first analysis will come next you are designing the any structure first you have to analyze the structure so here you have to give the analysis bar print okay. so whatever the analysis is there whether we have we, you want to print it or you want no print so always you give no print no print means there is you will not get any print if you are connecting the printer and if you want to get the result directly printed means you can give the options or else you can give the no print here no print only click on add close here it is asking to perform analysis go to analyze run analysis again the last save So here you will you should get the zero errors. If you are having any error, you have done a mistake. Next, you click on go to post processing mode. Done. So all the loads are in the load case one. You click load case one. Okay. Next, you maximize this window. Already here the deflection icon is active. So it is already it is active, but you are unable to see through your naked eye. That is the what is the deflection is there if you want to see the deflection how it is deflected you can hold the control button on your keyboard and you rotate the cursor on your mouse upward so if you rotate this one you can see the deflected shape of the beam the beam has been deflected like this so this portion is sagging and this portion is hogging and again this this portion has deflected like this sagging so remember uh, the sagging will be very easy for you for your understanding sagging means you are smiling see sagging okay and this is when you cry so this is your hogging the sagging and this is Hogging. Sagging beam will deflect like this. Beam will deflect like hogging. This is hogging. It is beam is deflecting upwards and this is beam is deflecting downwards. Sagging means always positive bending moment will be there. In hogging, negative bending moment will be there. So So this is the deflection icon. If you want to see the what the deflection value is there, you click on results, view value. This is the beam results. You click on beam, you can keep click on displacement. That is this deflection, maximum resultant, annotated, close. So see here. Here for this beam, the maximum deflection is here, it is 0 0.10 mm. For this beam, it is maximum is here. It is, it is not maximum. So it is only showing maximum value. This is maximum 0 0.07. 007 mm so if you want to if you don't want to view this one you click on this one unclick this one next you, you want to see the bending moment click on bending moment this is the bending moment mz so you, you can see the bending moment diagram now so if you want to you increase the scale you hold the control button on your keyboard and rotate the cursor upward like this so this is the bending moment diagram so it has deflected like this this is sagging this portion is hogging this portion is hogging this is sagging then this is hogging always at the supports hogging will be there and middle of the beam will be sagging so for that case in the beam 
if we take this is the b this is the beam and this is the column okay in the beam we are providing the main reinforcement and the middle of the at the bottom of the soffit here the main beams main steel bars here the anchor bars steel bars we are providing at the top so if the beam is continuous so let me take this one assume the beam is continuous like this this is a continuous beam so we are providing the main reinforcement here and here also main reinforcement at the top of the column because here negative bending moment is maximum your beam is deflecting like this it is deflecting like this your this beam to deflect like this so to avoid the deflection you are providing here the main reinforcement here and here again here main reinforcement for again here main reinforcement at the top of the column to avoid the punching shear so next to view the results of this one you click on results view value that is beam results you want to click this one beams one maximum or else maximum or else midpoint annotate you know, close so you are seeing the value 1.997 kN per meter this is 0.961 here and this is 5.081 kN per meter this is 3.738 and this is 7.443 so to verify this one let us see the values so see here so here 7.443 is there here 7.46 is there and here 3.738 is there 3.72 and here 1.9 5 is there here 1.97 is there and 0.98 here 0.96 and here 5.081 5.10 almost approximate some plus or minus one or point less than 1.2 percent error will be there it is acceptable because it is the software will, will go very accurate so next if you want to see the shear force means you click on this one fy so this is the shear force next you increase the size of this one control and rotate the cursor next results view value beam results so you want the shear force shear at ends and midpoint annotate right? close this is the shear force diagram Okay, here the shear force is maximum and the support, uh, always at the support the shear force will be maximum this load will be carried by the columns this load this load total three columns are there here here and this column is carrying more load this one also carrying more load so to take the picture of these all these things you can go here or else you can go here take picture or else if you want to copy the picture you can copy this one copy picture now it is copied next if you want to place copy you, you control v control v you have to press on the paint open the paint and you press control v on the keyboard and it will it will show next you click on save as jpg wherever you want that is the table desktop that example this is continuous beam one shear force shear force like this you can save it will save and similarly if you want to view the bending moment if you want to take the picture of this one beam results 
annotate close next year you can take copy picture next you can go for paint and you can control v next you can save this one as file save as jpg continuous beam one this is pending movement diagram save and similarly if you want deflection click on deflection the results view value beam results you remove this one maximum result and denote it close so if you want to take this one copy picture again go to paint control v file save as jpg in deflection next if you want to view the model and if you want to take the picture of the model with lower values you can click on this one and you can take the picture of this one also edit copy picture control v file save as jpg in problem or else example so all the image are being saved now you can make a report by pasting or anything so this completes the first problem so let us end the class we'll continue in the next class